everybody it's Kenya Fowler and yeah I am back from Tanzania <laughs> whoop, whoop. back from Tanzania um, the mere fact that I'm able to uh, make that statement that I'm back from Tanzania is proof of the testimony that God collected the leftovers yes <laughs> <laughs> he did just what he said he was going to do and I am so grateful for um, just God being God I'm so grateful to be uh, his daughter so uh, grateful to be um, a vessel used for kingdom purpose so um, once again back from Tanzania um, it was amazing. Uh, we actually got back on um, Friday evening, so it has not quite been uh, a week. Um, and so, yeah, um, <laughs> I just, uh, I'm gonna probably wait on a few people to get on. Um, hi, Mr. LT. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for you and uh, your donation um, and everybody else in their donation to um, just be used by God to collect the leftovers. Um, God is faithful. So, um, so yeah, I'm just going to um, hang on here a little bit and um, have some more folks come on. Um, this is like midday. Uh, I understand that typically I'm on in the evening. Um, but um yeah just just felt compelled to come on uh now and so here i am here i am following the instruction of the lord um which is what even led me to tanzania um following the instruction of the lord hey deo <laughs> yeah man that's my kaka my brother from africa what's going on oh my gosh i'm so excited we have africa in the house yes simply amazing tanzania my brother deo welcome 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 um yes again back from tanzania um god just did amazing amazing supernatural miraculous uh, things uh, did what only he could do um, the Holy Spirit just definitely um, you know compelled the hearts of the people uh, and and drew them <laughs> drew them just as only the Holy Spirit can do um, so again uh, just so grateful um, our, my brother Deo was a translator for us and so um, we just adopted him <laughs> Me and my sister Coretta just adopted him uh, as our own. And so, yeah, we're just super grateful for all the translators. Um, the uh, Our evangelistic team, we literally um, were ministering to the Maasai people. And um, the Maasai people did not speak Swahili, which is what we have been learning um, in the months, you know, coming to... Um, uh, us leaving and so they only spoke uh, Maasai and so literally uh, we had translators like Deo who translated from uh, English or translated our English to Swahili and then we had another translator who translated then from Swahili to Maasai whoa <laughs> but it was amazing you know I mean the entire transition of things was amazing and um, and yeah God still i mean got all the glory um was still able to work and just still able to do uh what only he can do and so you know again shout out to all the translators um shout out to 1221 um who um was the the ministry um that we that we traveled with um yusuf um yes my kaka yusuf <laughs> And uh, Kaka is brother in Swahili. <laughs> so, uh, 
So yeah, Brother Yusuf and um, uh, Wade, yeah, man, Wade, my kaka Wade. And so, yeah, um, just a shout out to everybody, all the leaders of 1221 and just um, everybody that um, uh, was a part of, you know, the evangelistic team. And we had a medical team that went that um, served the medical needs of the people. And um, even through um, the medical team, you know, people were um, were uh, drawn, you know, by the Holy Spirit and, you know, prayed to receive Christ. And so it was amazing. It was amazing. And uh, and so, yeah, um, you know, we we got to Tanzania and um, uh, first day, you know, out um you know, in ministry, um, I, I actually just want to just kind of take, take like some time and just, uh, just, just kind of talk about, you know, the experiences and, um, and, uh, share with, with you guys, uh, some testimonies that took place. Um, so yeah, um, we got there and, and basically what we, what we did was, you know, we, we went to different, um, BOMAs is what you call them. And, um, Hey Kumar, <laughs> uh, went to different BOMAs or villages, um, of the Maasai, uh, people and, and we, you know, ministered the gospel to them. You know, we, we shared with them through a method called, um, three circles. Um, and, uh, we also, um, we uh then you know after sharing with them the gospel you know um e extended you know the um opportunity to accept jesus christ as their personal lord and savior and so many 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 people um prayed to receive christ uh, as their personal lord and savior we um there were 700 a little over 700 salvations um and uh we were actually able to minister to um a little over 1600 um we kind of had a little disconnect uh right there but um sharing with them the gospel and so um multiple multiple uh, miraculous uh healings um on the spot you know immediate healings um we had um we had, um, I mean, when I say like healings, I mean like healings, you know, we, we had, um, you know, people ask for, um, blessings, um, you know, for us to pray and bless, um, their businesses and, you know, their, um, cattle, you know, their, the Maasai people are a people who, um, you know, they, they, um, herd, you know, have herds of cattle and, and, um, you know, goats and, and things like that. And so that's their, that's their livelihood. That's how they make a living. Um, and so just asking that we, you know, just pray, you know, the Lord's blessing and protection, you know, upon, you know, their businesses. And so, you know, we were able to do that and, um, and just see God just move in such mighty, mighty ways. Um, and I mean, we, you know, were, were, um, uh, able to, um, you know, see deliverances from demonic spirits, um, uh, demons, you know, cast out of, out of individuals and, you know, complete and total freedom, uh, taking place in that manner. And, and so, yeah, um, the first day, um, in discipleship, you know, after actually going and, and teaching the gospel, um, in the morning hours, like in the afternoon, we then invited them to come for discipleship. You know, we, um, extended the opportunity to receive Christ. Uh, they accepted, and then we invited them to come for discipleship so that we could then, um, uh, teach them more and teach them how to then go out and share the gospel with their friends and their family, you know? And, um, and so, yeah, not just, um, not just, you know, going out for souls, but, you know, um, teaching them how to be fishers of men as well. And so, uh, it was during the first day of discipleship and, uh, you know, we had gone through the lesson and, um, <laughs> we had gone through the lesson and, uh, had just asked for prayer, you know, specifically. And, uh, there was one lady who, you know, was, was having some issues, you know, within, you know, her chest and just kind of chest, uh, pressure and discomfort and things like that. And, and, uh, you know, I know, uh, uh, almost, uh, the moment that, um, you know, I began to pray for her and, um, you know, laid my hand here, you know, she began to convulse and, um, and, uh, 
you know, a long story short, you know, she was delivered. And, um, and just to see the, um, complete, um, her, 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 her whole countenance change, um, was just, I mean, God did it period. There, there's all the glory belongs to him. All the glory goes to him. And, um, and so, yeah, uh, she was delivered. You know, we had kids, um, that were delivered from, um, um, you know, demonic, demonic, uh, uh, powers and entities. Um, and just to visibly see, you know, those, those demonic spirits broken off of those babies and to see them, you know, when they were once, you know, standing up against a wall, you know, just flat effect and, um, no emotion and, you know, not clapping, not singing, not anything, you know, just looking so downcast to, um, you know, um, to being delivered and then seeing smiles on their faces and, and, uh, and then, you know, being involved with, um, you know, the songs that we were teaching them, you know, we, um, me and my sister, um, uh, you know, Coretta and my translator, um, uh, had some time with the, with the kids and, um, were teaching them, teaching them songs, you know, in, in my side, um, Ashe Yesu, Ashe Yesu is thank you, Jesus. And woe is come. So woe Yesu is come, come Jesus. And so, um, just teaching these babies, these songs and seeing, you know, countenances changing and, you know, going from, you know, being completely, um, uh, uninterested or, or just unable really because of the bounding and because of the hindrance that the enemy had, um, had the strongholds that he had on their little lives, you know, and to see that being broken, to see the strongholds being broken, um, and to see complete and total freedom taking place. And these babies now being able to raise their hands and jump and sing and, you know, say, thank you, Jesus. I mean, it was just amazing. And, and, um, and so, uh, um, you know, just going from, from, from different, uh, BOMAs, you know, um, and just seeing, you know, the people, um, you know, desiring the hope that we were sharing with them, desiring the, you know, um, the peace, um, that, that surpasses all understanding, you know, desiring, um, Jesus, <laughs> desiring Jesus, um, was just simply, you know, amazing. And their level of faith was just literally like, I mean, off the charts, you know, um, um, you know, we, we pray for, um, a man. I ended up <laughs> renaming him Paul Paul. You know, he was an older, older gentleman, um, in the first BOMA and, um, and, uh, he had an issue with his knees and, um, he, they also shared with us that he was, um, he was, uh, you know, afflicted with the dumb spirit. He could not speak. And, um, excuse me. And, you know, we, we prayed, you know, we, we, um, uh, you know, laid hands on his knees and, um, immediately the pain and discomfort of his knees were gone. And he just began to, you know, step, you know, with his, with his legs and, you know, he began to just kind of jump up and down and, and, uh, you know, kind of give us the thumbs up, you know, that the pain had gone and we just praise God, you know, completely. And, um, you know, I, I, um, spoke not just, um, you know, regarding his knees, but also the other hindrances, you know, the other strongholds, you know, that the enemy had and, um, you know, had had, you know, on his life. And, um, after that day, like every day after that, he came to the discipleship class and, um, and, uh, he, um, it was what maybe, um, the day before our last day there, um, or it may have been the last day, but he ended up coming and he saw us and he was so excited whenever he like saw, uh, me and Coretta, like his eyes like lit up and, you know, he started, he started doing this, you know, um, uh, to say come in Tanzania, they don't do this. They do this. This is come. And so he was, you know, from a distance and, and doing this and, and, uh, you know, so we were smiling and we went over to him and, you know, he hugged us and, and <laughs> the man, the man who could not speak, the man who, you know, had no voice, um, 
Um, and also was Maasai, right? So he didn't even speak Swahili or, you know, English, didn't even understand uh, either languages. Literally out of his mouth did this and said, no pain, no pain. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> like literally we were like, do you realize you just spoke? And not even that, like, do you realize you just spoke English? Like, <laughs> like look at God for real. Look at God. And so that was just, uh, you know, just another testimony of God just showing himself mighty, man. I'm talking about like, there is nothing too hard for God. And I find myself like feeling like I sound like a broken record because, you know, I'm constantly just talking about how good God is. I'm constantly talking about how faithful he is and how nothing is too hard for him. And regardless of what the situation looks like or regardless of our emotions and regardless of how we may feel, there is absolutely nothing too hard for God. It's nothing too hard for him. The things that are impossible with man, as scripture says, What's impossible with man is possible with God. There is nothing, absolutely nothing that is too hard or impossible for the God that we serve. He's amazing. And, um, and so, uh, so yeah, Papa healed, right? <laughs> no pain. And, uh, you know, we had testimonies of, you know, headaches coming and, um, uh, it was one gentleman, the whole, um, I think if I'm not mistaken, his whole, um, like right side of his head, um, he was just having a lot of pain and pressure, um, even down like to his shoulder area. And he ended up coming to one of the, uh, disciple, uh, disciple, um, discipleship, uh, uh, classes in the afternoon and uh, with his testimony um, to say that, you know, um, after being prayed for, you know, like once we had left uh, his Boma that, you know, he, all the pain was completely gone. And so, um, you know, God did it yet again. And so there were, there were multiple headaches um, that were, uh, you know, that were done um, and, and, and healed miraculously. Um, uh, there were eyes, eye pressure and eye pain that was, you know, um, immediately healed that, you know, um, the Holy Spirit just flowed, you know, through uh, their physical bodies and um, just completely and totally um, corrected that, you know, which was incorrect. Um, you know, there were there were people that, um, you know, God ended up. Um, you know, sharing or revealing to me rather, you know, during us ministering to them that, you know, they were harboring unforgiveness. Um, there were two ladies, um, in particular, um, in the villages that we, that we had went to. And, um, uh, the first, the first lady, um, the first lady was, um, she was a lady who, you know, was blind, and I say was, because even as I speak, I believe that, that God has, has, um, totally uh, restored her vision um, in both eyes. Um, but there was an incident whenever she was um, younger. And I did not know this until um, after the fact, but um, she, uh, we were ministering to her and, and God had um, had me to let her know that she had, she needed to forgive, that she had been harboring unforgiveness. And, um, and uh, that that um, unforgiveness that she'd been harboring had been hindering or in, and in that moment was attempting to hinder her from receiving fully uh, what God um, was wanting to do in her life. And so she needed to uh, release those individuals and she needed to forgive them in order to um, be fully, you know, restored. And um, and so, you know, I shared that with her and she you know, she, um, um, agreed, you know, with the fact that, um, yes, you know, she had been holding on to unforgiveness and, um, and after leaving, after, you know, praying for her and, and leaving, um, one of the translators actually came and, and, uh, and said that, you know, in, in, uh, you know, the Maasai, um, she was explaining how, um, there was a tree branch at some point, tree branch, tree limb that had gone in one of her eyes 
and um, had actually um, gone through and punctured um, the other eye, which which, which you know caused um, uh, the uh, blindness. However, she felt that um, all this transpired because of um, some family members that um, you know practiced. Um, roots and voodoo and things like that and and um you know had actually you know caused this to happen to her so that she would lose her vision and um so you know because of that because you know because uh you know she felt that this was the this was the cause of her losing her vision you know she had harbored this unforgiveness toward these family members and so um you know god just confirmed um you know what what he had um you know revealed to me and um you know again you know he gets all the glory um we're just so grateful for um not just physical um healings that took place you know within the physical body um but also um the spiritual um, healings and restoration to the spirits and to the souls um, of, of, of his people, um, not just the spirits and souls, but the emotional um, healings uh, that took place as well. And not just even with, um, you know, um, the Maasai and uh, the Tanzanians, you know, that we were able to minister to, um, you know, whether through the medical or the evangelistic, but also, you know, just the, um, the wholeness, um, and revelation and things that took place even, you know, with our team members, excuse me, um, you know, within the team, um, it was just um, amazing um, just to see God uh, move and to see um, God be seen in brand new ways. Um, you know, to, to um, different team members and, and just to see him, uh, speaking to hear, you know, the different stories, um, of, uh, you know, God just revealing himself. Um, and just, again, just so grateful to have, you know, been a part of, uh, such an amazing, um, uh, amazing uh, ministry opportunity uh, to be a part um, of just the ability to serve um, with some amazing, you know, uh, individuals. Um, and, uh, and, uh, as far as, you know, the American team and, you know, uh, the Tanzanian, uh, team and just knowing that, um, you know, God's going to continue to grow relationships and, you know, he's going to continue to just, um, do, you know, what, uh, what only he can do. Um, let's see. Um, more testimonies. All right. So, um, there was um there was another older gentleman we had actually gone to um traveled into Aboma and um actually his entire family had prayed to receive Christ as their personal Lord and Savior and when we walked you know when we when we you know came you know he was he was seated he was sitting down in a chair and um you know after um leading them into uh the sinner's prayer and um, then, you know, receiving Christ, we then, um, you know, prayed over them and then asked for anyone who desired special prayer for any particular reason. And um, so the family actually, you know, explained to us that he had had a stroke and um, just asked that we, you know, pray for him. And so it was obvious, you know, he that, you know, his left arm was kind of you know, here and, um, his, um, left hand was contracted like this. And, um, for those of you who may not know what a contraction is, it's basically when, um, the, the, the joints and the muscles end up getting stuck in a particular, in a particular, uh, way, um, whatever that way is. Um, but in his case, you know, it was, it was like this. And so, um, you know, which caused him to be unable to, you know, uh, release his fingers and make a fist and like all of that. He was literally, you know, stuck like this and, and he just kind of guarded that hand, you know, that, that entire arm just right here. Um, we found out that his whole left side was um, affected by the stroke. And um, so... You know, we, um, we um, you know, laid hands on him and we prayed for him. And, um, and um, you know, as, uh, you know, 
my sister began to just kind of do his hand, you know, uh, like this. And, you know, she was able to, to just gradually, you know, release his fingers. And so now his fingers, you know, were released, you know, by the, by the power of the Holy spirit. And, um, and then he, uh, uh, his hand was just kind of stuck like this, you know, uh, literally just kind of straight, you know, like this. Um, and, uh, and, you know, we, we, you know, finished praying for him and, and then we went, you know, we went on our way. And, um, the next day, uh, we were traveling. We had gone about, you know, praying, uh, for people, um, in the different, different bomas and, um, was going back to where we were holding the disciple, the discipleship, uh, programs or discipleship class, um, teachings. And, um, and as we were pulling up, you know, we saw, you know, this older man and literally everybody was like, you know, who, you know, who was that? And, I saw who he was <laughs> and I said, oh my gosh, y'all, that's the older gentleman that we prayed, the older man that we prayed for yesterday, you know, that had had the stroke and everybody was like, really? And, um, and it was like, oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. So, you know, we got out, he was walking with the cane and, um, you know, he'd gone right in and, and sat down and, um, and, you know, we were just rejoicing, you know, because literally his, his BOMA was, I mean, a minimum of like 15 minute walk from, you know, where we were to, you know, where, where he, where he lived, where he walked from. And, uh, so, you know, just, you know, him getting there, him having like that desire to even like get there was just like amazing. Um, and we saw, we saw that, that hunger, like we saw that thirst in so many, uh, different people. Like it was just, it was just amazing. And so, um, and so, yeah, um, one of the, one of our team members, um, uh, one of our team members was ministering um, and teaching uh, on that afternoon, and um, and he it was kind of almost over, um, but the old man kind of interrupted, right? He interrupted from the corner, and he was just like saying how you know he had walked the whole way there, and um, he was just feeling kind of fatigued and and just really not a hundred percent in that moment. And he was just requesting prayer because he was going to go, he was going to leave and, and, and go back home. But before leaving, he wanted to, um, you know, uh, he wanted to request prayer, um, you know, just that he would get back safely and, 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 you know, his, his strength, you know, um, uh, he would have endurance basically, you know, to, to carry him back. And so in, instead of just kind of, um, 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 stopping, you know, the teaching in that moment, you know, there was just a couple of us who went out, um, and took him outside and, and, you know, we, we prayed, uh, for him and God had allowed, had, uh, instructed, um, during our prayer, you know, to, um, through my translator to anoint some water and wash his hands. Um, still hand was just like this again. Um, as we had left him, uh, that, that day before. And, um, and as we just began to, you know, pray over him and just, you know, speak to, um, uh, um, just still the, the hindrances, right? These, these, um, the, the, the different, um, you know, demonic spirits that were attempting to just continue to, to hold on, um, uh, or hold on to his, his, his life, his body, um, that had to let him go, um, in Jesus name. And, uh, you know, um, my sister had asked that or had, had, yes, told him to squeeze her hand and he literally took his right hand to do this number. Right. And, um, and we told him, no, you know, leave, leave, you know, do it with this one. And long story short, he began to squeeze her hand 
and uh and then we you know told him to release it and he he released it and then he he squares and then he released it and then before you know it this is what he was doing and and this this you know entire left side which we later ended up finding out um you know he had he had literally no feeling um in this entire left side you know he was doing this you know open and closing hand and and doing this you know up and down up and down and you know we're it continuously you know still in prayer and praising God all the while and um and um then you know my brother Dayo you know told him you know uh we need you to stand you know and had um gotten his cane and you know he stood he stood up and you know um we told him to walk and um you know, you could tell, you could tell because of, uh, how it had been, you know, that he was a little kind of like, you know, I don't really know about this. However, you know, however, you know, um, as, as, as an act of his will, you know, um, uh, his faith, you know, him stretching his faith, you know, to have already seen, you know, because he had the biggest grin on his face to even, to even be able to do this. You know I mean? He was grinning so big and, um, and, uh, you know, he took one step, you know, kind of, kind of slow and he took another step slow. And, and then before you know it, you know, he's walking, he's walking. He's walking and we're walking with him, you know, still praying and still just praising God. But this man is walking. He's walking one foot after another. He's squeezing his hand in and out. He's doing this with his left arm. Like he's just doing it. And we walked, I don't know how long, but I mean, it was, it was a ways. Like we walked and then, you know, we turned around and, you know, we continued to say and have him say, you know, Ashe Yesu, Ashe Yesu which is thank you, Jesus, in my side. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. We just begin to just shout. <laughs> we just begin to just shout. Thank you, Jesus. I say yes, I say yes. And, um, and he turned around and, you know, we walked back. Now, this is the same man that was like, wanted prayer so he could leave and go home. <laughs> He walked right back into like the service area, right? Like where the, the class, where the teaching was taking place. Like he, he walked right back in there and then he sat down and like we were just, I mean, oh my gosh, talking about like praising and just worshiping. It was just amazing. And then, you know, uh, we ended up praying for some people who, you know, had desired prayer at the end of at the end of uh, the discipleship and um and then uh you know he shared his testimony and he actually said how that day before before we came to his boma and and um you know uh prayed with him uh that the stroke had literally taken um all function and movement of his entire left side he was unable to walk without assistance of, of someone else like he had that walking stick but he was unable to walk without assistance hand arm you know contracted and and then he said but today you know i was able to walk by myself from my boma to here and then you know in thinking I was going to go home, get prayer and go home, you know, God, Jesus, you know, completely, you know, and totally healed my, my physical body. And, you know, I was once unable to walk and now I'm able to walk and, you know, the hand and the arm that was not functioning, you know, I have full function. And literally he left there with that walking stick threw over his shoulder. <laughs> He left there with his walking stick, threw over his shoulder, like headed to the house. Man, can you help me shout hallelujah? Hallelujah! <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. The highest praise. Look, there is nothing too hard for God. There's nothing too hard for God. And to just see him like move in so uh, many great and mighty ways to see, you know, the Holy Spirit um, just in action and um, to see, you know, the changing of hearts and to see, you know, countenances completely changing and to see strongholds broken in the mind and, you know, the mind um, becoming clearer, you know, and not even that, but just, you know, minds and just spirits um, 
the spirit man being more receptive, you know, to the truth of, of, of the gospel and the truth of God's word and what he's saying and how he's saying it and just receptive to the love of God. Um, there was, um, there was, um, um, a witch doctor that was, that was, um, brought to Christ, um, you know, in, in sharing, oh man, Whew. um, I just was reminded of, uh, in Revelation, you know, how we overcome him, the enemy by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony and how in sharing the gospel, we were sharing it through the, the, um, through our testimony and, 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 you know, how we were before Christ and, you know, um, and how we were, you know, after Christ, you know, turning away, uh, from, from, you know, our wicked ways or turning away, you know, from, from, you know, how we used to be and the change, you know, that, that, you know, Jesus and meeting Jesus and having a relationship with Jesus, you know, how that changed our lives. And, and, and so, um, being able to me personally share a testimony about, um, about, um, you know, being hurt and harboring anger and unforgiveness and, and, you know, all of these things and, you know, um, meeting Jesus and, and, um, you know, just releasing all of that and allowing, um, Jesus to heal, you know, those voids within me and allowing him to, you know, take that anger away and bring me, you know, joy, not happiness, you know, that is, that is dependent upon situations, you know, but joy, the joy that the world didn't give. And so therefore the world cannot take it away. You know, um, the unspeakable joy, right? <laughs> joy 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 and um you know to to extend you know that same hope and that same joy and that same you know uh forgiveness and and um you know healing uh of of voids and things like that you know to offer uh that to this man whom many feared you know um um you know in the land because of uh you know what what the things that, you know, he had, had been indulging in, um, you know, the occult, um, but to see him, uh, and to hear him, um, you know, make a decision to receive Jesus Christ as his personal Lord and savior and turn from those wicked ways. Um, and, um, and decide on that day, you know, because the word says, you know, choose ye this day whom you will serve, right? Choose this day whom you will serve. And, um, and he chose and he chose, uh, Jesus Christ. And, um, and, uh, I mean, it's just, just amazing, you know, to, to, to just see the things that, you know, we were able to see and be involved in the things that, you know, we were involved in and, and, um, you know, to hear the things, you know, that, that we were able to, to hear, um, you know, was just, again, a, I really have no words. So I'm just like amazing, miraculous, you know, but really like there's no words really to explain or express, um, you know, the way just well to express it, you know, it's just simply amazing. Um, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm reminded, um, uh, of, uh, another Boma that, that we had gone to, it was an entire family and we actually, um, had was set to go by there the day before, but we did not because that was one of two, um, BOMAs, uh, that we had, that we had gone to that were actually, uh, tourist, um, stops or, or, or what have you. Like they, tourists would pay to, um, come by and like see them jump and see them dance because the Maasai, um, are really big for their high jumping and, um, and also, you know, um, their dancing and things like that. Um, they make, um, they they make jewelry and they make necklaces and, you know, they, they make all of these things and they sell them. Um, not just, you know, jewelry and things like that, but, um, other, other things. Um, but then again, they sell them for, for money. And so, um, we did not stop by there this, the day that we were supposed to, we ended up bypassing them because they had a, a tourist truck there and, um, and they weren't even on our, um, 
on our route um, the next day. Um, however, the Lord um, redirected us by there and was just like, you know, we needed to go by there. And so we went back by there on um, that next day. And, um, and uh, you know, it, it, it was amazing. Uh, my sister ended up sharing um, a, a testimony um, um, that was a, a, a kind of one of those like heart wrenching uh, testimonies um, with with them, and um, you know she even broke you know while while sharing, and um, while she was sharing though um, a tourist truck pulled up, and um, amazingly uh, the the leader of the Boma you know, told her to continue, you know, it was, it was kind of like a, you know, a thought that, um, you know, he was just going to say, okay, y'all have to go because this is our, this is our money, right? This is the tourist. This is our money, you know, enough with, with, with what you're talking about, um, you know, and, and come on, come on money basically. But no, it was the complete opposite, man. Like the Holy spirit really like compelled and just switched things up like completely, like to the point to where he told the tourists, you know, you, you, you go on, you, you carry on. And, and he told, he told her continue, you continue. And that in itself was just like, whoa, like do it, Jesus, for real. And, um, you know, she finished, you know, sharing her testimony and, um, you know, um, then, um, you know, um, offered them, you know, uh, the opportunity to, to know Jesus and receive him, uh, as their personal Lord and savior. And, um, and they all accepted, <laughs> they all accepted and they prayed the prayer of salvation. And, uh, you know, we, um, we, you know, prayed over them and, and, um, and, uh, was able to pray over the, all the things that they had made um and to to in the spirit realm literally see um see the 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 um what was once like that 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 demonic hold break literally off of every table like bling 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 like God just broke it, just, just broke the power, um, of the enemy, um, you know, off of them and off of their stuff. Um, and I mean, it was just, it was just amazing. And so when leaving, um, when leaving, uh, oh, the tourist truck, like they didn't even leave, like they stayed, um, and they were just kind of hanging out, <laughs> you know, like out there waiting. And, um, and so, um, you know, Coretta ended up going and, you know, introducing herself to them and, you know, hey, you know, y'all from America. And they said, no, they were from Germany, um, I believe. And, um, you know, had asked, uh, they were tourists, of course, and, you know, asked if we were tourists. And, um, you know, when she kind of answered, you know, uh, yeah, but we're, you know, we're missionaries. Like we literally just got finished ministering the gospel to, uh, um, you know, to, to the Boma and they all accepted Christ. And, um, and so just sharing that and literally, um, the lady's eyes just kind of lit up, you know, and she was like, oh my gosh, you're the angels. And she turned to her husband and she said, honey, honey, these are the angels. These are the angels. And she began to share how as they were walking up, uh, or excuse me, as they were, as they were like driving there, as they were riding there, that um, she heard God tell her um, to, they needed to just wait. They they didn't need to be in such a rush. They just needed to just just wait and and take their time because there are angels there where they're going. And um and she said, "You're the angels. Like you're the angels. You were the reason that God told us to wait." And you know it so speaks to God's love. Oh, it speaks to his love for us. God loves us so much. I mean, and and his love is reckless. His love, I mean, there's 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 nothing. Just like the word of God says, there is nothing that can separate us from the love of God. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I mean, you know, he loved those he loved those people so much 
that he had already, like he knew that the people were coming, right? He knew that the tourist was coming. Like, you know, he knew that this was their, their, you know, livelihood. And, and the fact that, you know, he allowed them, he, he allowed, um, the people to be blessed, right? Um, uh, he, he allowed them to, to hear the word, receive the word for themselves, right? And receive salvation for themselves. But not only that, he allowed them to then be blessed with, with, you know, the, the tourists and then receive the blessing. They didn't even miss the blessing. They were willing to, do you see that? They were willing to, to, to miss the tourists and to miss the money that came with them, you know, in order to hear the gospel, in order to continue to hear the gospel. But because of their heart, God allowed them to receive everything that he had for him and still not miss them being blessed as far as their business goes. Man, this is the God we serve. <laughs> this is the God we serve. He's amazing. He's amazing. Simply amazing. And I just... You know, um, in thinking about everything that took place, um, and you know, th this isn't like every testimony, you know, of, 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 um, you know, just the move of God that took place and the things that took place. I mean, um, you know, there were, there were so many other things. I mean, literally like the visions that, um, that, uh, you know, he, he showed me, um, and, um, uh, just seeing visibly being able to see, uh, the hedge of protection that, um, that he has, uh, around us, his children is, uh, is just simply amazing. Um, you know, we, we, it's important that we speak the word over our lives and we speak the word over our families and, um, and we do that on a consistent daily basis, right? It's that it's important, um, because the angels hearken to the word of the Lord. That's actually the only thing that the angels hearken to. That's the only thing that, that causes the angels to move. And that's the word of God. Our speaking God's word activates activates the angels and God has given specific angels charge over each of us. So each of us have specific angels that are, that have been given charge over us to divinely protect us and, and to keep us and things like that. Um, it's our responsibility to speak God's word and to, uh, send the angels, uh, forth, you know, uh, so that they can minister um, on our behalf. And um, so to visibly see uh, the word of the Lord, uh, the spoken word of the Lord, um, <laughs> to, to visibly see it, I'm, I mean, like to see it really like in the natural, in the, um, in the seemingly natural, but in the spirit realm was just, was just, <laughs> I'm telling you, um, God's amazing. He's amazing. And, um, and he loves us. He loves us so much. And, um, uh, you know, he does not allow his children, um, to be put to shame and, um, and, you know, he will absolutely, uh, he is, at, he is provision for, uh, whatever it is he has called us to do. Um, he is the one that provides for that. Um, the word that he had given, that he had given me and that I have been holding on to and will continue to hold on to is, um, you know, you produce, I'll provide. You produce, I'll provide. And, um, and uh, he has done that. He's done that and he continues to do it. Um, excuse me, not, not just in a financial sense, but, um, you know, to talk about protection, you know, in a protection sense, you know, you produce, you go forth and you, you know, share the gospel and you do what I'm, I'm instructing you to do. You know, you say what you hear me say and you do what you see me do. Right. And I will provide, I'll provide the divine protection. I'll provide, um, um, uh, 
the peace, you know, I'll provide the joy. Um, I'll provide, you know, all of these things that's needed, um, in order for you to continue to go out and do what I'm calling you to do. Um, God's faithful y'all. He, he, he is so faithful. Um, he has never lost a battle and, um, and he never will. Um, and that's actually something that just, we just have to remember, like, um, regardless of the situations that we may find ourselves faced with, um, God is still on the throne. He's still on the throne and his word is still true. And, um, you know, he's not like man that, that, you know, he shall lie. He can't lie. I mean, he swore by himself, right? He can't lie. And, um, and, one one thing that I know is, you know, going to Tanzania and um and uh just, you know, seeing seeing God do um what what only he could do. Um, you know, I just wanna state the fact that uh he's the same God. He's the same God in Tanzania <laughs> that he is here in America. <laughs> You know, he's the same guy here in America that he is in, in Europe. You know, he's the same God, you know, uh, he's the same God. Um, and he changes not. Um, uh, and you know, the, the things that, that, you know, we, we experienced, um, we experienced, uh, um, uh, there, you know, should be, um, uh, a, a normal, a normal occurrence, you know, just in our, in our everyday lives. And, and, um, in my sleep last night and, and, and as I woke up this morning, even I, I dreamt last night and, um, even in my dream, I was, I was, um, quoting, you know, this particular scripture. And even in my dream, you know, my girlfriend was like, girl, let me tell you something. And I was like, what you got? And, and she began to quote that same scripture, you know, to me. And I woke up, you know, um, um, with it just in my heart and in my mind and saying it, you know, when it's Matthew seven, seven, um, that says, ask, and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock and the door will be open to you. Um, ask, ask, and it will be given to you seek and you shall find knock and the door will be open to you. And, you know, to, to think about, you know, asking, I, I just know that I, Kenya, Kenya Fowler, I, I want more. <laughs> I desire more of um, Jesus. I desire more of the Holy Spirit. I desire more, you know, um, there's, there's, there's never enough. Like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the level of revelation or it doesn't matter the level of like discernment. There's always greater revelation. There's always greater discernment. And, um, and that's actually one of the things that God ended up um, uh, stopping and checking me in my prayer because, you know, I was praying one day going, going to church. This was one Sunday I was by myself and, um, and I was, you know, in prayer, you know, praying, going to church and, and, um, in my, in my prayer, I was like, Lord, um, you know, Lord, just, you know, bless me with, um, uh, you know, no, I said, Lord, give me wisdom, you know, give me wisdom you know, and, um, that I know what to do and when to do and how to do. And he literally stopped me and was like, why are you asking me for, for things that I have already given you? Why? And I was like, whoa. <laughs> and, and, and he said, you know, you're, you're not to ask me you're not to ask me for something I've already given. It's already yours. Um, you just need to know that it's yours. And, and then he took me through a, you know, um, because he has, he's, he's, he, he's, he's given us wisdom. You know, we have the wisdom of God, 
The wisdom of God is ours, you know, peace. He has given us the peace that surpasses all understanding. He has given us joy unspeakable, right? He's given us, you know, he, he's given us all things, all of our needs. They're met according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And, and, and he's like, so, so stop asking for stuff I've already, I've already promised. I've, I've already given, you know, and, and, and then he said, you know, if anything you ought to, um, you ought to um, not ask, but declare that you have it. But not just declare that you have wisdom or have peace or have joy or have discernment, right? Or have revelation, but you, you ought to declare greater, that you have greater. Declare that you have greater revelation, that you have greater discernment, that you have greater peace and greater joy, right? And greater wisdom, greater, greater health, right? Health more, health, health, life, life more abundantly, health. Um, that you have greater these things because regardless of what level we're operating in as far as a level of discernment, as far as a level of revelation, as far as a level of wisdom, regardless of how much peace we have, regardless of the level of joy, you know, that we, that we, um, you know, exude, we can always, always, we can always have greater that. And so regardless of the level, we're always growing and we're always increasing. And when I tell you that completely like changed my prayer, <laughs> my prayer life, it did because now I'm not like, first of all, asking for something that he's already promised me. What's in his word? You know, what are his promises? And his promises are yes and amen. It's done. It's done. And so that completely, again, that completely changed my, my, my prayer, my prayer life. It did. Now, you know, it, it took me from, you know, a place of, of, you know, kind of asking for something to declaring the, the word of the Lord over my life and over my situation and over your life and over your situation and over my seed and over my seed situation. You know, the seed of the righteous shall be delivered in Jesus name. In Jesus' name, we ought to call those things that be not as though they were. And so, <laughs> whew, Jesus, I want more. I want more. I want more. And um, uh, God knows that desire. He knows the desire of my heart um, regarding that. Um Pertaining to Matthew 7, 7, ask and it will be given um, to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door shall be open. You know, seeking, like ask, seek, knock. Ask, seek, knock, right? All, all of these things, like even though they might be like instruction um, in the word as far as like what to do, he has given us throughout scripture how how to you know how to ask um we are to ask according to his will right not according to you know our own our own you know um own self motives and desires and stuff like that we're to ask according to his will um and uh you know seeking he says in matthew six thirty three to seek first the kingdom of heaven right um and uh and and kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then all these other things will be added right in Romans eight, which is where he ended up leading me um this morning uh after the matthew seven seven he led me to romans eight five um in the amplified I want to read it in the amplified it says for those who are according to the flesh and are controlled by its unholy desires, set their minds on and pursue those things which gratify the flesh. But those who are according to the spirit and are controlled by the desires of the spirit, set their minds on and seek those things which gratify the Holy Spirit. So he tells us, here again in Romans 8, 5, um, what to seek. He gives us instruction, but he also teaches us. Like he doesn't give us instruction to be like, you know what? Um, y'all good, figure it out. That's not how he is. He's so loving that he gives us instruction in his word. And then throughout his word, you know, we are to, 
or he gives us um, he gives us and teaches us like how we ought to do these things and how we're not to do these things, you know, like he, he, he's, he's a, he's like the ultimate teacher, right? Um, seek also like seek the scriptures, search the scriptures, search the scriptures for ourselves so that we know what his word is and how it pertains to our life, what it says about our lives, what it says about our minds, you know, what it says about our physical bodies, you know, on the cross at Calvary, Jesus himself took sickness, disease, infirmity. He took it all. He took it all. He took it on the cross. He took it for us. He took it for us. So why are we accepting sickness and disease? Why are we calling these diagnoses ours? My this, my that. No. Mm -mm. What truth do we believe? Either Jesus took it or he didn't. You know, either we believe that he did or we, or we don't. And just because we might be contending with uh, with a thing doesn't mean that we don't believe the truth of God's word pertaining to it, right? Pertaining to, you know, that specific situation for our lives. No. Mm -mm. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. We are to continue to speak those things that be not as though they were. Jesus spoke to situations. He spoke to situations and he changed them. We have that same authority. Genesis 126, we're made in the image of God, in his likeness. We're made in his image. So, hallelujah. Um, so again, this all just, just, you know, lines up with, once again, how I want more. <laughs> I want more. And, you know, I just encourage, I'm telling you, like, I encourage each and every one of you to want more, to desire more. Um, man, share this video on every avenue of, you know, the social media that you can. Um, you know, first of all, just to glorify God and just what he has done. Um, uh, because again, he gets all the glory. Um, he gets all the honor. He gets all the praise. It all belongs to him. Uh, we cannot function. We, we're not even able to live. We're not even able to exist outside of him. It's, it's, it's impossible. And so, um, he gets all the glory. Um, but, uh, yeah, I know that, um, again, I want more. I want more. Uh, I want to be used more. Um, I want to see more. I want to, um, have more revelation and, uh, that greater, right? That greater revelation and that greater discernment. And so, um, the desire that, that, that my heart is crying out for, um, compels me to continue to speak God's word, uh, continue to be obedient, you know, not necessarily understand every step of the way, but, but that's, that's just the the confidence that um, I have in God. Like, I don't have to understand everything. You don't have to understand everything. We just have to listen to what he is instructing us to do. And we just have to obey. We just have to obey. Yep, that's it. <laughs> we just have to obey. Um, and so, yeah. Um, you know, I, I pray... My prayer, you know, is that, um, you know, just being able to, you know, hear the testimonies of what took place in Tanzania, you know, is just a blessing and it stirs up um, a greater faith within you. Um, and, uh, you know, for for your situation and uh, and um, the things that, you know, you might even face, you know, in the future. Um, yeah. Yeah. Testimonies are important. <sighs> They're important. And so, again, my prayer is that, you know, your faith is stirred up, um, that you have a greater hope uh, in the one, the only one, um, uh, that our hope should lie, and that is in Jesus Christ. 
And uh, that if you do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, that um, in this moment I extend um, the opportunity to to know him. Um, God's word says that, you know, if we believe with our hearts and confess with our mouths that Jesus Christ is Lord, um, that uh, that we then, you know, are able to um, receive uh, receive him and be received into the kingdom and be called his sons and his daughters. Um, and it's that simple, you know, it's that simple, uh, believing that he is the son of God and, um, that he was sent for, for us. He was sent for us, for our sin and, um, that he took that sin on the cross so that we could be saved. And so that we could be reconciled uh, in our relationship with God. So if you don't know, if you don't know, I'm telling you, my life, Kenya's life is, uh, my life is a living testimony. Um, for those who um, uh, once knew me, <laughs> um, you know, it, I can say that. Um, it's, it's truly evident that, uh, that I've been with Jesus and, um, that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. And, um, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's that. So, um, I just encourage you, um, on today, um, and every day that you meet, um, to just, uh, just trust them, <laughs> just trust Trust God and know that, again, nothing is too hard for him. Know that uh, he is faithful. Know that um, he will do just what he said he would do. And um, and if you ask, if you seek, if you knock, um, all those things will be given. Uh, you will find and the door will be open. And um, yeah. And he will exceed your expectation because he did that. He did that for Tanzania. Um, I had great expectation, you know, because I knew what he'd show me already. Um, but he exceeded my expectation. And that's how he does. Um, he's a good, good father and he's so loving. And, um, and so, yeah, in closing, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm glad to be back from Tanzania. I'm glad to be back home and to be able to be here and uh, just share, share the, the great things that that um, took place there. Share. Um, just share Jesus. <laughs> so uh, that's it. That's all I have for today. Um, as always, I love you. Uh, God loves you more. Um, he loves you greater, actually, the greatest. <laughs> but please share the video. Um, share it on your page. I will share it as well. And um, and yeah, uh, we just give God all the glory. So have a great day. Bye.